right, what's going on guys and gals? Greg Howe here, back again. And uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty pumped up about this new, super compact, great sounding, lightweight amplifier that just so happens to be my new signature amp with DB Mark. And its official name is, in a way, um, more like a description. So we're officially calling it the DV Little GH250 Tube. I know it's a long name, but just try to remember. DV Mark, that's the company. Uh, Little, pretty self-explanatory. GH, those are my initials. And then 250 is the wattage. And yes, you heard that correctly, 250 watts. So you will never have a low volume problem with this amp. And then Tube, uh, really just essentially highlights the primary upgrade from the previous version. Uh, the previous version, which was all solid state, already impressed me enough to, it, you know, I ended up using it on a bunch of tours. I did a lot of recordings with it. And anybody who knows me knows I'm a pretty dedicated tube amp guy. So for me to have been impressed enough with a solid state amp to have brought one and used one on a whole tour uh, means that DV Mark is definitely doing something really unique and cool with solid state circuitry. But this new one actually has a microtube in the preamp stage. And if you had the previous version, uh, you will feel the difference. And, and basically the difference is gonna be that it just brings it even that much closer uh, to the tone and especially the feel of an actual tube amp. So let's have a look at it. Uh, first, we've got two completely independent channels with completely separate gain controls uh, for each channel. So this top row basically handles everything for the distortion or the, the gain side. And then the bottom row is all the controls for the clean channel. So pretty simple. Uh, so we're going to start with the clean channel and the clean channel is really clean. It's, you know, as a matter of fact, um, this is the gain, uh, this is the gain knob for the clean. And as you can see, I have it turned all the way up. Uh, but even if I lay into it, really bang on these strings. Now everything that you're hearing is pretty much, everything I've been doing has been in this fourth position. Some people call it the second position. Um, it splits this humbucker, so it's admittedly less output than typical, but even in full humbucker mode, it's still really clean. And if you detect a little hint of dirt, um, just know that that's on purpose. I like it that way. I like my clean tones that have a little bit of dirt on them. And you have to also remember, this gain knob is all the way up. So if you're hearing that and you didn't want it, it's easy to get rid of. Um, and really, there's not much more to say about the clean channel. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. Um, and that's also cool about it because I like simple is good for me. Uh, so let's check out the gain channel. Um, so plenty of gain. Um, and I'm not even all the way up. I still have a little bit of room and actually we have a lot more Especially when you consider the fact that we've got this magic knob over here. This is the built-in Sustainer, which is actually really cool. I'm going to just show you how that thing works um, I'm just going to play a note and This is without the sustainer All right, let's turn the sustainer on. I'm going to put it up at around 10 o'clock Try another one, turn it up a little bit more, maybe around 11.30. The note gets fatter, you can hear it, it's not, not just sustained, but... It's nice because even with all that gain, there's still a fairly decent amount of string clarity. The fact that I, you know, I don't have to just play root and fifth chords. I can play note, you know, chords that have a little more dissonance, minor nines and so forth. That's really uncommon to have that kind of string clarity with that much distortion, especially with uh, a solid state amp. I mean, I probably wouldn't be playing something like that with this kind of tone, but 
you know, it's just kind of nice to know that, that I could if I was in some weird music environment that somehow required that or wanted that. Uh, but anyway, as far as additional features go, we've got a really nice reverb. Uh, it's kind of very fendery. We've got an effects loop in the back, which is very clean. It sounds really, really clean. Um, we've got a dual foot switch, which handles not only the, the channel switching, but also the reverb. And uh, yeah, I think that just about covers it. So if you're looking for an amp that's really convenient, really affordable, and that sounds really good, I'd say that this amp right here is calling your name. And I'm pretty confident that you'll be thoroughly satisfied uh, if you check it out. So until next time, this is Greg Howe signing off. Peace.